Hey everybody, Justin here, and I'm just doing a video for my martial arts um, self-defense playlist. And this is about a tire for a punching bag um, as a low target. And these tires, I, I wouldn't even uh, pay for it. You can go to like a service station, gas station, um, any type of uh, place like that. And they might even have a big pile of old tires out back that they're trying to get rid of and ask if you can have one or two or three <laughs> of those and that's what i did and the service station near me was uh more than happy just to give two of them to me and you know they're they're pretty dirty because they've been sitting there for a while but yeah you just clean them up just hose them down and they're they're good to go and um so what i do here is i have this everlast punching bag and i just uh, put the tire over the top and then have it you know just slip down to the bottom so this isn't even attached it's just um, it's just sitting on here, right? And um, you know, it's a good target. It's extremely durable. Um, this probably lasts a lifetime. It probably outlasts the punching bag, to be quite honest. And um, it's at a it's at a height that's very practical. You know, for for training purposes, we try to kick as high as we can a lot of the time. But in real self defense situations, you're probably going to strike to the groin, strike to the knees, strike to the shin. Um, so kind of that area and down, which this is like the perfect um, height height for that. Actually on me, it comes up to, um, comes up right about to my knee level, maybe slightly over my knee level. So it's extremely practical to kick and you can kick it really hard and you're not going to break the tire or anything like that. Um, one thing, since it's a tire, it has this little area you know, here where if it, if it rains outside, you know, water can pool up. So all that I did is, um, in various places, I just, you know, maybe every couple inches, I just drilled a couple holes, you know? So as you go around the bag, you could see, you know, see, see these holes where I drilled. And I did that on the other side too. If, if I were to put the tire on the other side, here you can see one hole. Um, and here here's another one uh, right here. So if I were to put the tire on the um, the, the other way on the bag, then if it rained, water would still, um, drip out. So it doesn't pool up, um, for mosquitoes and stuff like that. Um, the worst you're going to get is like, you know, leaves get in there, you know, stuff like that. So everyone, every once in a while, you know, you just clean it out of all the, the leaves and debris and stuff like that. But anyway, this is what I recommend, um, for if you have a punching bag like this, or just some other um, arrangement where you can set up tires and they're extremely durable. You can get them, if not for free, probably for very cheap because again, you don't need this tire in good quality or anything because you're gonna be kicking it and stuff like that. So um, anyways, that's my uh, tip for today and I will see you next video. Bye-bye.